In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a video course by Korean master 3D artist Cho Young Jo. The course teaches rendering techniques in Unreal Engine 5. It was a great resource for me because I want to move away from slow offline rendering and I want to use fast real-time production in Unreal Engine. The difference between these two types of rendering is getting slimmer and slimmer thanks to the amazing technology that Unreal Engine has introduced recently. And so I try to avoid offline rendering whenever possible. I really like this course, but there are a couple of things to get out of the way. First, the producers of this course, Colosso.us, sponsored the making of this video, but they did not try to control the content. So I got paid, but you're still getting my honest, unfiltered opinion. Second, this course is in Korean with English subtitles. So it's definitely possible to follow the course even if you don't speak Korean, but it is a different experience from following a course in English. The language barrier may be a deal breaker for some of you, so I wanted to get it out of the way as soon as possible. I personally went through the whole course and I learned a lot. I was even able to watch it at double speed, life is just too short to watch tutorials at a normal speed. Oh, and by the way, Colosso has provided discount codes for CG Dive viewers. The details are in the video description. Cho Young Jo is a great artist and normally you would not get access to his knowledge unless you spoke Korean. But thanks to this course, you get the chance to learn from him. The information in the English speaking community can become a little bit of a echo chamber. You may start to see the same ideas repeated over and over. So looking for fresh ideas in other communities is a good thing to do. One piece of advice I can give you if you decide to enroll in this course is to turn the sound off and just focus on the subtitles. The voice of the presenter is pleasant, but I kept trying to understand what he says, which led to confusion. So sound off and just focus on the content. Anyhow, next I'll give you a quick overview of the course and what I learned from it. This is a solid course with over 13 hours of content. It is split into five sections, each focusing on an important topic. Part one is an introduction to Unreal Engine. Part two is called Objects. Part three is all about characters. Part four about environments. And part five brings it all together and gives you techniques for creating cinematics. All materials that you need in order to follow the course are available for download inside the course files. So part one is the orientation chapters and it is a nice introduction to Unreal Engine 5. I already know the basics, so I just breezed through these lessons quickly. I can imagine that here the language barrier might be a problem for people who are complete beginners in Unreal. So unless you speak fluent Korean, I would suggest that you get your Unreal fundamentals somewhere else. You can easily find a basic tutorial with a quick Google search. The second section is titled Objects, but it deals mainly with lighting. You'll get a complete introduction to the different light types in Unreal, as well as working with environmental lighting. I thought I knew plenty about this, but I managed to pick up some cool tricks about fixing the blurring in HDRI backdrops and also about working with light channels. The highlight of this section is the last lesson. It shows you how to light and render a product shot and it really lets the artistic skill of the teacher shine. I learned advanced tips about working with depth of field. The third section is probably my favorite one. It's all about characters and it will give you a good overview of working with metahumans. You will learn how to work inside Metahuman Creator and export your character to Unreal. But what I loved the most was the information on using ray tracing. I've been confused about the differences between lumen, ray tracing and path tracing. I tried to figure it out from other sources, including the official manual, but it just didn't make sense. But in this course, it's perfectly explained and like everything else, the presentation is very practical. 
So now I know exactly which settings I need to tick to enable high quality real time ray tracing. And I also understand when using ray tracing is a good idea and when it should be avoided. The tutorials also show how to connect your MetaHuman to the LiveLink Face app, which allows you to create facial animation using facial motion capture. Then the course offers another comprehensive section dedicated to creating natural environments. As in the previous parts, the focus is on the lighting and rendering side of things. Again, there are tips on how to optimize the ray tracing and lumen settings to achieve the highest quality rendering that the engine is capable of. The last section is called cinematics and I expected it to be a deep dive into Unreal's sequences, but that was only a small portion of it. Again, the course managed to surprise me with an original technique for combining a metahuman face with a custom character body. It also showed an animation retargeting hack, which I haven't seen anywhere else. At this point, I'm still processing the last couple of chapters because some of the information is completely new to me, such as the lesson about working with virtual cameras. Overall, this is a great course and I learned a lot from it. There is no fluff, just lots and lots of useful and often original techniques. If you speak Korean, then you can take this course even as a complete beginner. And as I said earlier, people who do not speak Korean, like myself, can also follow the course. But in that case, I would recommend that you know your way around Unreal Engine beforehand.